Welcome back. This is Jeff again. Um, I believe this is day six. We're going to go ahead and uh, install the covers on the timing belts. So we're going to put the left and right cover on. Once those get on, then we can put the accessory belts and that on. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get those started. And uh, Okay, we've installed the cover for the timing belts. Um, pay particular attention to these different lengths. Those vary. The two with the 10 millimeter uh, bolt heads go right here. They're for the cover. Um, on the U.S. cars, I'm like, a shirt. I'm not sure this car came with that cover or not. Uh, the bolts are there, but um, when we received this car, that cover wasn't installed. So either it never came with it or someone in the past has removed it. But uh, most of the cars have a cover that have, goes right here, goes downward. Um, so I don't know. I'd have to look to see. But uh, the customer's only had this car for like three years, and he had a belt service done when he purchased the car, uh, and he didn't know anything about it. So I'm not sure if this came with it or not. So I'm going to go ahead and put the other belts on at this time. All right, so I've got the uh, power steering pump belt on. Uh, you put the belt on, tighten this up, and you're trying to get 90 to 110 megahertz. And then uh, I would probably put it on the low side because then when you tighten these two bolts here as your final bolts to tighten, this may get a little tighter, so you'll overshoot it. So uh, try to go on the lower side, but uh, you're looking for 90 to 110 megahertz on the Easy Tension app, okay? So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, the next thing I guess I'm going to put in is the uh, AC compressor belt. And uh, that is 131 to 145 megahertz. All right. And then uh, let's see here. This was a 10 millimeter. And then this was a, let's see here, number six Allen. This is number six. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put the uh, AC compressor belt on next. All right. So we've got our belts on. We've got our water pump belt on here, over here, and then we've got our AC compressor belt on right here. Uh, AC compressor belt is 131 to 145 megahertz. You're probably going to have to move this out of the way to get your frequency. And then, like I said, you're, you're going to adjust the belt here, and then once you get adjusted, you're going to tighten it. So I would do it on the low side because once you tighten the center bolt up here, your frequency is probably going to go up. Same thing over here. This is the adjustment for the water pump belt. Um, adjust it kind of on the, on the low side. And then when you get on the low side, tighten this bolt here. And then that's going to go ahead and that's probably going to raise your frequency higher on that. So like I said, the water pump's 90 to 100 megahertz. And the AC is 131 to 145. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is 19 millimeter. That's 10 millimeter. And I think this is like a 12 or a 13 millimeter. And then this is a 10 right here. This, So once you get this adjusted, we'll, we'll adjust this. Like I said, usually put like a credit card like thickness through there. Um, not much more. You don't want this riding on the belt. Same thing with the one up there. Um, you don't want that riding directly on the belt. You just kind of want to just uh, barely off of it. So we're going to go ahead and tighten these up. All right, so we've got our tensions, our frequency, I mean, uh, water pump, like I said, 90 to 100. I've got 95, and you want to strum the longest section, the longest section, which is up here. You want to strum right here, take your reading close to there, and then uh, right here is your longest section here. This is 131 to 145. You want to strum here, take your reading in this area here, and then uh, we've got those all torqued up. Uh, don't forget, this is a 13 millimeter here. Tighten those up. We'll tighten this up. Make sure those are tight. And then we're going to set this. This is a 10 millimeter here. We're going to put like a either a filler gauge or something through there. Um, it's about the thickness of a credit card. You don't want this riding on there continuously. You just want it right next to it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and adjust that. And then uh, we'll be done with the belts.
All right, so we have this adjusted now to the correct clearance. Uh, like I said, our belts are all done. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, reinstall this water line or this pipe here and all these tubes here next and then this box. And there's a clamp that goes on this, this duct here or a uh, water line. So we're gonna go ahead and install all these water lines now. And then uh, the one up there too. So this pipe will come up from there down to here. And then uh, we'll install those and uh, we'll put this box in. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, we've got our hoses hooked up now. Uh, let's see here, it's just this. Um, as you can see, Got our clamps tight. This one's tight. This is tight. These are all tight. Um, got our box in here. That's a 10 millimeter there. A 10, one, 10 here. And it's got this bracket that holds your water line in place, your coolant line. So make sure that's secure. Uh, as you see right there, it's got that standoff on it. Uh, so that's all back together. So I'm going to go ahead and lower the car and then hook the upper line from this so we'll have to do that all right so we've uh, secured the clamp up here on this upper line right here uh, it's nice and tight um, like I said we've adjusted all our belts all our belts are good we have these adjusted correctly like I said there's just like a little gap here uh, about the size of a credit card on this one and the one on the bottom like I said, you don't want that runner on there. I'm just checking to make sure it's free. That's nice and free. It's smooth. So check that. Same on the bottom. Uh, other than that, we should be able to put this cover on at this point. Uh, we look down in here. Everything looks like it's in the grooves like they need to be. So up here looks all good. These are, like I said, these are all tight. Make sure you got these tight here. These on your uh, power strain pump. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and secure this cover back on here now. All right, we've uh, re-secured the rear cover here, the access to the engine compartment. Um, so then now the carpet and everything can go back in. But uh, we may hold off on that. Customer wants to get the carpet cleaned, I believe. So we're gonna hold off on that right now and um, maybe move on to a different area. So uh, we'll see what happens.